championship match. Your full game, Steve Stricker. I putted great, my short game was good, and just my ability to hang in to each hole and, and not give up on any hole. Stricker defeated Pierre Folke 2-1 for his first PGA Tour win since the 1996 BMW Championship. It's been a long time. I mean, it's been four years. A lot of lows, really. I mean, 97 and, and 99 and 2000, you know, were not very good years as far as I'm concerned. I dug down deep a couple times and executed some shots that I really needed to. Stuart Sink for a birdie to win the hole and square the matchup with Ross Fisher. So that's as tight as it gets. Two holes left, all square. Sink and Fisher. 17, Ross Fisher. Just a very straightforward little chip. And right off the green, drives Whoa. It right into the back of the hole. Oh, how about that? Now, Stuart Sink. Great exchange there as Sink answers Fisher. Now Stewart Sink at 18. Nice little uphill bunker shot, looks pretty good. Track it right at the hole, and the consolation match comes to a dramatic conclusion. I really can't pick a winner out of a Jagus or Casey. Well, I think that's really gonna be a flip of a coin. This is to land in the final tomorrow, or we'll go extra holes. Oh God. my. Boy, what a shot! If the oh, what spectacular a shot. shot! And we go to the 23rd hole. And this to win it. Move on to the championship match. Oh, oh my, my goodness! goodness. And that's going to be it for the day. This can't be tied. Simple as that. You know, one of us has yeah. to be in the final, and both of us want to be there. Casey with a chance to close it out. Casey poured it in on the 24th hole to move on to the final. Who will paint the last memorable picture here? Match all square. A little too careful. And now 35-year-old Jeff Maggart has a chance to win. Extra holes. Jeff Maggard finally breaks back into the win column, and what a week to do it. Anything can happen, especially where he's hitting the ball. Quote from Stephen Ames on Monday. I need to fire Tiger up. So Woods the opportunity here to go four up through four. Tough man to beat. Stephen Ames has only been on the golf course for 40 minutes. Knockout punch. Woods basically destroys Stephen Ames today. Nine and eight. It's a record setting result. JB Holmes to win the hole and go five up. He is just bludgeoning Bubba Watson right now. Can he solve the mystery of beating Holmes today? There's life. Three down, five to play. Five up lead after the tenth hole is now down to one. After tying the match on 18, Watson had a chance to win on the first extra hole. So there you have it. What a comeback for Bubba Watson. At the 2014 WGC Accenture Match Play Championship, 26-year-old Jason Day went head-to-head -head with 23-year-old Victor Dubuisson. Day headed to the 17th two up, but Dubuisson charged back to force extra holes. What a putt from Victor Dubuisson. He had to haul it. On the 19th hole, Dubuisson found himself in a tricky situation. I don't know how in the world Dubuisson is going to play this shot over the green the 19th hole of this match. You are what? What? Oh my oh goodness. Oh my goodness. What a shot. The following hole was deja vu for the Frenchman. He has pulled off one miracle shot already. And that appears to be a, a dead branch that's draped over the top of that golf mm. ball. He's done it again. Golden hands. Here we go. 
Oh my this is goodness! Absolutely bizarre. Ah. I uh, I give up. On the 23rd hole, Day got up and down for birdie to capture his second PGA Tour victory. We have a champion, Jason Day. In 2002, Kevin Sutherland entered the championship match, trying to become the first ever 16 seed to win the WGC Accenture Match Play Championship. This to uh, square the match, Kevin Sutherland has not led at all. So the match is all square with four to go. And takes the lead for the first time with just three holes left. With Sutherland still one up on 18, he sticks his third shot to secure par and the victory. Phenomenal shot. Kevin Sutherland gets his first PGA Tour win. Tiger Woods is in a bit of trouble, hunkered down in the cold and wind in what appears to be a long, tough battle against Nick O'Hearn. I've been here before, I've played him before and beat him before. Thank you and good night, Tiger. What a way to do it. Three and one. O'Hearn was in position to reprise his role and spoil Tiger's bid for an eighth consecutive PGA Tour victory. Makes birdie at 17. He takes the one-up lead as they go to 18. Tiger Woods and Nick O'Hearn are headed to sudden death. Nick O'Hearn has this to win. Yes! Oh! We have a major upset. Nick O'Hearn once again is a Tiger Slayer. I knew it was within my grasp if I could just play my game. J.B. Holmes, three up for the second time in this match. They head to the 14th. He's got 14 feet, one inch. I made that putt there at 14. Even though I was two down, I felt that I had momentum. And then all of a sudden, that's how it turned out to be. He has this birdie putt for three in a row. How many times have we seen it? Always able to come back. The 17, Tiger for Eagle. To take his first lead of the match. Got a chance, got a chance! Oh my goodness! J.B. Holmes now. Tiger Woods notches another incredible comeback.